Hi guys, today we're gonna to chat about one of my favorite things ever and that is moisturizing oily skin. I have an entire playlist of skincare routines if you are curious to see more, but specifically today we're talking about my favorite moisturizers that are suitable for combination and oily skin. If you have oily skin and you're just starting to get into skincare, this is the best place to start in terms of what to first incorporate into your routine, in my opinion. That being said, I am not a skincare expert, but that's kind of where I started because I spent a lot of time literally putting like salt on lemons, rubbing alcohol, all that kind of stuff on my face to remove the oiliness and the acne. And in reality is actually so important to hydrate oily skin. I say this all the time, but your skin can absolutely still be dehydrated. And if you are removing the natural oils from your skin too much, then your skin can kind of do the opposite and produce even more oily skin than you had to begin with. And then you're kind of just making things worse. So I have a playlist down below for my favorite oils, serums, moisturizers, masks, uh, I will link to all of that down below and I have done two of these videos before so I will link to those as well these are just some of the ones that I have been using lately or they have launched more recently I still love everything that I mentioned in my previous videos and I don't have like a particular favorite today I would say so that's why I'm mentioning a variety that come at different price points they're available in different places some are cruelty free some are kind of diff different textures so just kind of listen to what I have to say and see which one is going to kind of fit your lifestyle the best because I love all of of these and that's why I'm recommending it. So anyways, enough blabbing. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start at the drugstore. The first one I want to mention is from Garnier. This is their Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And this one is actually for dry skin and you might be like, so maybe this is a video for oily skin. They do have one for oily skin as well, but I actually like the dry skin one more. Now my skin is definitely in more of a combo place than super oily. It's going to depend on what you prefer but this still has an incredibly light gel-like texture. You'll see all of my close-ups. This by no means is heavy at all. I just find that the one for oily skin, unless you have like crazy, crazy oily skin, if you get oily throughout the day or you're kind of generally oily, uh, I would definitely go for the dry skin one. Uh, don't shy away from it because like I said, uh, it, it definitely is important to moisturize your skin so that you're not overproducing oil. So this is a really nice lightweight texture, super affordable as it is both drug store and Garnier. I really, really like this. This one is oil free as well. I believe most of these are oil free today. Uh, and then this also has vitamin C in there, which is great for uh, if you have dark spots on your skin, any dullness. I've really been loving to incorporate vitamin C into my routine. Uh, and this is a great one to kind of start with. It's easy to pick up at the drugstore. And I really, really like this one. A lot of you, when I did a video with Garnier about two months back, said you really liked it. A couple of you hated it, but that's always the way with skincare. We can't win them all. Um, but the majority of you seem to really Really, really enjoy this line from Garnier. Keeping with the vitamin C theme, let's talk about one from The Body Shop. The Body Shop always has sales. I think this is regular $27. When I looked at it just then on their website, it was $21. So not exactly drugstore prices, but just a little bit above. Uh, this one is for dull, tired, and grumpy skin. It is the Vitamin C Glow, Bo Glow Boosting Moisturizer. And I challenge you, if you are in the market for a moisturizer, even though something doesn't specifically say it's for oily skin, it doesn't mean it's not for oily skin so at a glance you might be like oh glow boosting but it's not necessarily it's not heavy it's not rich it doesn't necessarily even say hydrating on it it just says glow boosting so the glow in here comes from the vitamin c vitamin c is just it's so beautiful since incorporating it in my, my routine. I've seen such a difference in the way that my skin looks. A lot of the time it comes in a serum format, but it's always nice to have that extra boost in your moisturizer. This again has that gel cream texture. That's something I always advise you to look for on packaging because sometimes things that are gels may not have enough moisture, but a cream may be too far. So the gel cream, in my opinion, I don't think I've tried anything that has the gel cream title on it that uh, I have not loved for my skin. I believe this is going to be cruelty free uh it is cruelty free is it vegan i don't see that this says it's vegan but i know the body shop i think they're working towards making uh the majority of their products vegan anyways uh and this is super hydrating but again really really lightweight it also has aloe vera in there which again is a great way to uh hydrate oily skin because it has that really really nice light texture it doesn't have much of a scent 
really, really light kind of scent. Uh, I'm not particularly uh, sensitive in my skin. I do, I did deal with acne for a long time there, but it was never due to fragrances or anything like that. I feel like my skin can hold up pretty well to just about anything I put on it. So uh, I really like this one. Rose is an ingredient that has been around in creams, fragrances forever. And I always stayed away from it because it was always like this powdery old kind of scent, if that makes sense. But a lot of products, either I'm getting older or products are getting better or somewhere in between <laughs> but there's a lot of rose scented products that I really love and not only rose scented but just rose infused because the ingredient itself is really great for your skin so one that I really love is the fresh rose deep hydration face cream now they also have a gel cream which I didn't notice ever before I just saw it on the Sephora site when I was searching for this so this I wouldn't say is a gel cream, but I wouldn't say it's a full-on cream either. This could also act as a great night cream. I always go heavier at night, but I was using this during the day in the winter time as well. It's gonna be a little bit thicker, so if you have crazy oily skin, you're probably not gonna love this, but if you're oily combo or normal, this is a really nice one that adds hydration, still absorbs into the skin. All of these are gonna absorb into the skin really nicely. None of these are gonna sit on top of your face because no matter how, uh, my, my skin changes. I still don't like that heavy feeling unless it's at night, especially if I'm putting makeup on during the day. I love all of these for under makeup or if you're wearing, say, a particularly mattifying foundation or something like that. The rose in here is really nice and hydrating. It's also good for textured skin. It has vitamin E. It, it is not oil free because it does have rosehip oil in here, which I really love. I use rosehip at night and I really like that on my skin. Uh, and then it also has hyaluronic acid, which is a very common ingredient, uh, especially as of late. It's been around forever but it's definitely been the hot product and the hot topic to add into moisture, add into moisturize your skin, which I really, really love. I use a ton of hyaluronic acid serums. You would have seen that in my serums video, but I really like this. But now I'm super curious to try their um, gel cream because I didn't even know that existed. It comes in like a pump format and also complete side note, but I have been loving their new night cream too. I do plan on doing a night creams for oily skin because those are ones that are like a little bit heavier and I would only use at night. But again, like I said, adding that extra moisture at night is good because you're not gonna be wearing makeup when you sleep, hopefully. <laughs> and you don't need to worry about being a little bit shinier and you can just kind of hydrate while you sleep. But I really, really love this one and I've been using it for a very long time. This is the one I've been using the longest actually out of all of these here. Something I always struggle with is finding a moisturizer that has an SPF. There's tons of SPFs that I like, I will link to. I have two of those videos down below. And then there's only a very select few of moisturizers with SPF that I like because because firstly, I have a deeper skin tone, so moisturizer, or sorry, SPFs can tend to turn me purple or gray or just this horrible shade. Uh, and on top of that, SPFs can make products a lot heavier. So finding something that's not heavy and also doesn't turn me purple, but is still moisturizing and still has a good, um, still has the SPF in there is very, very rare. So I was very excited to see that uh, Nivea has launched a new moisturizer. This is part of their Urban Skin Defense line, which is basically for people who live in uh, environments that are a little bit more stressful, it could be city, could be the environment that you work in. There's a lot of kind of aggressors that can kind of, I guess, like attack the skin or whatever you might want to call it. But no matter where you live, this is an awesome moisturizer that has SPF, it's not gonna turn you purple and it's not gonna turn you greasy and I am just so excited. It is infused with green tea and I went to the launch for this not long ago. This is actually the newest one to me, but I've been using it since I got it and I can tell you for sure uh, that I really, really like this. It doesn't have big claims, you know what I mean, attached to it like removing acne or dark spots or anything like that. So I can pretty easily tell that I really enjoy this and I've been wearing it under my makeup. So this is the, what is the official name? The Nivea Essentials Urban Skin Defense Day Moisturizer. And I noticed on their website they have an Another mattifying day moisturizer with SPF 15 which I didn't know that existed and I've never tried it this one doesn't claim to be mattifying actually I don't think any of these do with the exception of oh no two that I'm gonna mention claim to be mattifying so that's kind of a difference too depending on what you're looking for and as we approach those I will mention it but some will claim to be mattifying and have a bit more of a matte finish on your skin and some will just kind of like hydrate and absorb a little bit more quickly if that makes sense so this one has more or less a clear texture it looks green in the pot but it is not green on your skin I promise you're getting an SPF of 20 in there sometimes some people feel that that's not enough some people feel that that's uh, you know just 
fine for me I'm okay with an SPF 20 and if I am gonna be like on the day-to-day -day, and then if I am gonna be outside or in prolonged uh, I will up my SPF uh, it's a personal preference a lot of people have a very very strong opinions about SPF but you do what works for you uh, and some people don't wear SPF at all so at the very least um, putting on something with an SPF 20 daily will help more than not the texture is great really really lightweight there's a whole bunch of products in this launch too there's a night cream as well that if you have oily skin you will like that too but really glad to see um, a more or less clear SPF that's not heavy this new line from Clarins is super exciting I love 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 Clarins skincare I've mentioned uh, another serum of theirs and another moisturizer of theirs in other oily skin skincare content this is a brand new line to them it's called the my Clarins line it's marketed towards people who are a little bit younger than their current clientele although they do have a lot of products uh, that I enjoy I'm more in this target market kind of borderline on their other target now <laughs> um, but they don't necessarily market it to that younger more millennial audience so they launched this line and it's very clear it's for millennials the packaging is more minimal it's got almost drunk elephant vibes it is all vegan which is really exciting uh, whenever you can get that in a product without having to sacrifice actual quality so this is their mattifying hydrating cream they also have a comforting one and a something else one depending in their different day cream line there's three of them this is the mattifying I wouldn't say that this is the most mattifying that I've ever used but don't get that confused with being like heavy or greasy what I'm saying is it doesn't make the skin look completely matte it still looks hydrated it doesn't look flat it doesn't take away all of the shine but I still really really like it there's also a night mask in this that would be great for oily skin because it does have that gel texture I would say the texture of this is a little more gel creamish than the fresh that I mentioned but it is a little bit thicker than I would have expected for a skin for a skincare product marketed towards oily skin but again still a really great texture it's got vitamin C in there fruit extracts but actually one of the big kind of like I wouldn't say big marketing points but like one of the interesting things about this line perhaps is that they aren't making any crazy claims it's just supposed to be like a very simple and easy kind of skincare line to use that doesn't have a bunch of because it can get overwhelming I totally get it especially if you are uh, uh, watching a lot of YouTube videos and everybody's recommending a bunch of different things and you're like I don't know where to start um, this is a really nice line because it's quite simple and it's just really easy products to use there's no like oh don't use this with that and be careful with this and layering this and da 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 it's just a really nice line it's also uh the clarence skincare i would say it's not completely high end um but obviously it's not drugstore prices this is kind of somewhere in between it's gonna kind of fall around body shop prices which is nice too because I will say I've tried some expensive skincare and seen some great results and really love it but obviously uh, I'm a product junkie and like to try everything and like to be able to recommend a variety of price ranges to people depending on where you're at and what you want to spend your money on which is 100% uh, up to you so gotta say I really 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 like this line if you have overlooked Clarins in the past uh, this may be time to uh, start dabbling a super interesting line that launched in North America more recently I think it was out in the UK first because they are UK based is the inky list and all of their products are under $15 this is $12.99 at shoppers drug mart you're getting a full fluid ounce in here so they're exclusive to shoppers drug mart I believe you can purchase it online and in stores and then in the United States I saw they actually just uh, launched or will be launching at Sephora which is so exciting I actually met the owners at their launch event it's just very very cool what they do definitely has Decium vibes but what I like about these guys over Decium is they're not confusing they not only tell you like how to pronounce things, but they tell you how to use them. Their Instagram and web page is really informative because like I said, it is super overwhelming. So this is their turmeric moisturizer. And again, this is not actually marketed towards oily skin, but I think it's absolutely suitable, especially because of the anti-inflammatory properties that turmeric does have. If you have acne, if you have uh, any other kind of skin conditions that causes a lot of redness, but you still have oily skin on top of that, this could be a great option perhaps for the night if you find it too heavy but at $12.99 I absolutely recommend you uh, give it a try the only downfall about this product is it kind of stinks and it's the turmeric they even said it at the event it's not particularly pleasant I will say that but it doesn't linger on your skin uh, too badly so just keep that in mind if you are if you are super sensitive to scents, you may not like this, but really, really great products, great ingredients, affordable, nice, simple packaging, as well as us millennials, and I guess now the Gen Zers coming up are starting to enjoy. It says you can use this 
uh, AM or PM and I've been trying out a lot of their products and really really enjoying them another product I love from them is their squalane oil if you're looking to incorporate an affordable oil into your routine and have an oilier skin type but yeah really really like this recommend you give it a try and if you've had trouble finding it here in Canada like I said it is on the shoppers drug mart website the last one that I'm gonna mention is from Ula Henriksen I love all the skincare from this brand like love it I, I have been trying out a ton of stuff so impressed but this is the balance line so the green line is primarily for oily acne prone skin it is the counterbalance oil control highlight highlighter <laughs> hydrator and I really like this this is probably one of the lighter textures I would say really really light it comes out and almost looks like it's going to be thicker but like has a really nice light texture what i love about this is it has ahas and my skin loves aha loves baha it helps me with texture i think it's also helped with oiliness so you're getting that in there you're also getting green fusion complex neem seed oil so it's not actually oil free which is interesting but that being said, incorporating oils into your routine is actually a really good idea. So this could be a nice, easy way to start doing it. I, for a long time, only looked for oil-free stuff, but it just depends on the type of oil, how much is in the product, and until you... Oh, sorry. I don't know if that's ever happened in a video for me before. No one ever messages me, and no one actually just messaged me that it was Dynamite telling me that... Uh, Select styles are 25% off. Normally it's Domino's texting me with deals. I'm like, ooh, who's messaging me? And Domino's is like, two pizzas, $8.99. I'm like, mm, hey, Domino's. But anyways, <laughs> they have a great toner in this line too. I think there's a cleanser as well. Love the Pore Plunge Mask. I love the Dark Spot Toner. I've been trying so much from them lately and just obsessed with it. But this is a really good one. Definitely marketed towards people who have more problematic oily skin. So things like acne or redness or a lot of oil production. I definitely recommend giving this a try. Around the holidays as well, they also do nice little gift sets if you want to give it a try. Or anything that I'm mentioning here today that's available at Shoppers Drug Mart or Sephora or any other store that has like a counter, you can always get a sample. Don't be afraid to ask for a sample because if you're afraid to ask for a sample and then you buy something, you're probably not going to be the type of person who wants to return it either. So at the very least, get yourself a sample, see if you like it for yourself, and then make the plunge to purchase it, especially if it's something that's going to be a little bit more high end. Uh, that way you're not like wasting your money and your time and you know going into it that you're really going to enjoy it. So really, really like this one too. And as always, everything that I mentioned will be linked down below along with some other corresponding videos that may be helpful to you if you are also looking how to figure out your oily or acne prone skin and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye